okay i think the ppt is visible to you so in iron pair chromatography uh, iron pair chromatography it is also called as paired iron chromatography it is also called as pair iron chromatography and it is a subset of reverse phase chromatography can anybody tell me what is reverse phase chromatography if you will understand what is the reverse phase chromatography you will it will be relatively easy for you to yes stationary phase is non polar now when we are saying the stationary phase is non polar and we are saying it is exchanging the ions to ye kaise ho sakta hai stationary phase to ionic hona chahiye agar ye baat aap samajh gaye ki stationary phase ion ionic kyu nahi hai why it is not carrying the charge you will understand this particular technique very easily <coughs> okay so uh, it is a subset of reversed phase chromatography in which easily ionizable species are separated on a reverse phase columns in this type of chromatography an organic salt containing a large counter ion such as quaternary ammonium ion or alkyl sulfonate ion is added to the mobile phase as an ion pairing reagent when we see the uh, principle of it you will understand it better dekho i will read out this point again an organic salt containing a large counter ion is added in the mobile phase as ion pairing reagent ye sample mein nahi add kiya hai ye kahan pe add kiya hai ye mobile phase mein add kiya hai okay so you we have a large ion counter ion present in the mobile phase okay remember this when we study the theory of it okay the mechanism for separation uh, are two okay both are acceptable okay both are acceptable there is not a single phenomena that is explaining the uh, separation how the separation occurring let us see the first one the counter ion forms an uncharged pair with the solute ion of the opposite charge in the mobile phase <coughs> i will i will read again the counter ion forms uncharged ion pair with a solute ion of opposite charge in the mobile phase this ion pair then partitions into non polar stationary phase giving differential retention of solutes based on the affinity of the ion pair of the two phases i will try to draw a diagram diagram hai kya dekhte hai pehle is there is no diagram okay suppose this is your analyte these triangular molecules are your analytes these are carrying charges suppose it is carrying all of them are carrying positive charge okay these are your analytes please remember these are your analytes which have got charge in them okay now you need to have one counter ion now that counter ion is large species okay suppose these are your counter ions and they are very large species okay so this counter ion as the name is suggesting it is a negatively charged okay this is present in mobile phase okay this is present in mobile phase when these two combine they form a neutral molecule i mean neutral chalo green okay it will form a neutral molecule okay please pardon my drawing skills okay as a whole these molecules that are formed they are neutral now the neutral large molecule will get separated based on the uh, different properties of their on the stationary phase okay now the stationary phase is non polar now abhi aata hai sir abhi fir aap bologe sir isme to fir differentiating factor kaise hua let me explain suppose there are two different analytes suppose there are two different analytes in the sample sample mein ek se zyada compound hai and this orange color is also positively charged so when this will interact with the counter ion and when this will interact with counter ion it will form two different types of neutral species do you agree with me it will form two different types of neutral species and 
the property of these two different species will be different you agree with me the property of these two different species will be different <coughs> because of their differential properties they will interact uh, with different affinity to the non polar stationary phase okay dono molecule jo bane hai abhi wo neutral hai lekin unka property alag alag hai to unka interaction with the stationary phase will also be different the one which is interacting more with non polar stationary phase will be retained more the one which is interacting less with the non polar stationary phase will be eluted fast do you agree with this have you understood this first first point of view if you have any doubt please do ask shall we go to the next one okay now <clears throat> this one is uh slightly easy to understand than the previous one suppose this is your stationary phase okay this is your stationary phase which is non polar this is your stationary phase which is non polar okay now we are adding counter ions in the mobile phase these counter ions because of their large size also have some affinity for the non polar stationary phase because it will have a area because of its large structure of the large structure a small part of it is polar suppose this part is polar kyunki yahan pe charge hai yahan pe charge hai dekho okay but rest of the molecule is non polar aise ho sakta hai na do you agree me that is it, is it possible if it is a large compound yes ho sakta hai okay suppose jaise yahan pe example diya hai kidhar gaya अमोनियम क्वार्टरनरी अमोनियम आयन या फिर अल्काइल सल्फोनेट आयन ये अल्काइल ग्रुप बहुत बड़ा हो सकता है इट कैन बी वेरी लॉन्ग चेन एंड एट द एंड ऑफ इट यू हैव सल्फोनेट ग्रुप ओके सो सपोज दिस ओवर हियर इज इंडिकेटिंग दैट नॉन पोलर पार्ट व्हिच इज इंटरेक्टिंग विद नॉन पोलर स्टेशनरी फेज एंड दिस इज द चार्ज पार्ट सो कैन आई से द एंटायर स्टेशनरी फेज हैज नाउ एक्वायर्ड अ चार्ज the entire stationary phase has now acquired a charge now when i add different species samjho ye negatively charged hai ye negatively charged hai agar maine aisa sample usme add kiya okay i have added analytes which are positively charged they will have different affinity for this charged species suppose one will get bound to stationary phase more okay it will get bound to stationary phase more as compared to the other one this will get bound to less extent if those triangular shaped are ha huh, if those triangular shaped positively charged ions are bound less to the stationary phase they will elute fast and those who are bound binding with stronger force will get eluted slowly or later okay so this is alternate theory this is alternate theory now now Uh, you cannot say that only one of it exist there are uh, there are proposals uh, that both of them are acting simultaneously okay some unique separation both ionic and non ionic compounds in the same sample can be accomplished by this form of partition chromatography so this is a separate or special type of uh, chromatography dekho isme kya hoga अगर आपका एनालाइट में आयोनिक और नॉन आयोनिक दोनों कंपोनेंट्स हैं, तो आयोनिक कंपोनेंट सेपरेट होंगे वन ऑफ द वन ऑफ दिस फेनामेना आइदर दिस और दिस फेनामेना बट इवन नॉन आयोनिक कंपाउंड्स कैन गेट सेपरेटेड बाय देयर इंटरेक्शन विद द स्टेशनरी फेज डायरेक्टली डू यू एग्री विथ मी ये पार्ट किसी को नहीं समझा है क्या प्लीज आस्क मी अगेन ओके आई विल रिपीट सी ऑल द प्रीवियस टेक्निक्स वी हैव स्टडीड it can analyze either only ionic species or non ionic species but this particular technique can separate components which are both ionic and non ionic if there are ionic components if the components are ionic by interacting with counter ions they get they will be separated from each other using this two this two concepts okay but when these two things are happening we need not forget we should not forget that the stationary phase itself is non polar it can interact with non polar analytes so if your analyte is non ionic compound okay it is a non ionic compound it can directly interact with the stationary phase 
different non ionic compounds will have different affinity for the stationary phase one non ionic compound having more affinity for the stationary phase will be retained the other non ionic compound having less affinity for the stationary phase will be eluted fast so in the same sample you have ionic and non ionic both compounds and both are getting both types of compounds are getting separated do you understand it now but non ionic compounds will not use counter ion no they will they don't require counter ion they will directly interact with the stationary phase because they are non ionic how can they interact with ions so this is very interesting technique actually do you have any doubts regarding this please do ask uh, this is the example of different ionic different ph uh, not necessary actually baad mein aap dekh sakte ho when you when i will share this slide and for application all the applications which are present in ion exchange chromatography are applicable here also for the separation of uh, small inorganic organic ions ion exchange is generally preferred unless selectivity is the problem so ion pair is generally not preferred if it is uh, it is known that it is ionic compound okay उसमें कोई नॉन आयनिक है ही नहीं सिर्फ आयनिक का मिक्सचर है सो यू विल यूज आयन एक्सचेंज अगर सिलेक्टिविटी प्रॉब्लम है देन ओनली यू विल गो फॉर आयन पेयर सो दैट्स इट वी आर डन विद दिस चैप्टर आल्सो ओके सुष्मिता इज आस्किंग अ डाउट मींस नॉन आयनिक विल इंटरेक्ट विद स्टेशनरी फेज एंड देन एल्यूट यस यू आर राइट ओके स्टार्ट गिविंग अटेंडेंस अच्छा सृष्टि इज आस्किंग समथिंग सर यू सेड ड्यू टू लेस सैंपल इट विल रिटेन ऑन कॉलम प्लीज एक्सप्लेन अगेन अच्छा बहुत कम सैंपल लिया अच्छा आप इमेजिन करो स्टेशनरी फेज पे ना बहुत सारा पॉजिटिव चार्ज आय है बहुत सारे है ओके okay? उसमें हमने बफर ऐसे मेंटेन किया है कि वो पॉजिटिव चार्ज वो मेंटेन होगा ओके okay? अभी उसके ऊपर से हमने सैंपल अप्लाई किया सैंपल है निगेटिवली चार्ज वो सैंपल में ना बहुत कम मॉलिक्यूल्स है निगेटिवली चार्ज तो जैसे निगेटिव पॉजिटिव कॉन्टेक्ट में आएगा एट द टॉप ऑफ कॉलम इट विल फॉर्म आयनिक बॉन्ड इट विल गेट रिटर्न डेयर now you will have to add lots of buffer from the top so that those ions will travel all the way down the column because at every level they will form ionic bonds and will be retained so can you imagine how long it will take to come out of the column okay if you add more sample no so there is competition between similarly charged ion to bind to the stationary phase so because of that competition one ion will displace the other and relatively they will elute faster okay yeah welcome what is the difference between first theory and alternative theory both the counter ion is added into mobile phase pehla theory kya batata hai pehle counter ion aur analyte ek dusre ko bind karte hai aur dusra theory batata hai ki counter ion stationary phase pe pehle bind hota hai ye dono mein difference hai dekho humko pata nahi exactly column mein kya ho raha hai to ye do explanation hai dono mein se kuch bhi हो सकता है या तो दोनों साइमल्टेनियसली सच में हो सकते हैं ये एक्सप्लेनेशन है थियोरी है ये ओके सृष्टि आपको कुछ डाउट है बेटा ओके जया डू यू हैव एनी डाउट फर्दर अच्छा और कोई तो बच्चा है श्रेय सुपरमैन श्रेय आपको कुछ डाउट है श्रेय 